Today we are going to take that pizza dough that I made in a past food Friday and make stromboli with it. This particular stromboli is going to be a meat lovers style stromboli. So the first thing you're going to do is get a little flour and flour your rolling pin and you may need a little bit for your surface and your dough. Is thin this out to about half an inch and keep it in kind of a rectangular shape if you can. I just have pizza sauce here. You can really use whatever style sauce you want. And you're just going to cover this in Italian style cheese. It has mozzarella, asiago, parmesan, provolone, and a couple other blends of cheese in here. And I'm just gonna sprinkle this right along. You don't wanna overdo this because you're going to be rolling this. And last thing that you want is to have <laughs> an overflowing stromboli. The next thing I'm going to add is a hard salami. And again, this is one that you can kind of put whatever meat you want on this. The that I have here is Canadian bacon. And these are like pizza slices. We had pizza. So I have extra slices. So I'm just going to throw on some Canadian bacon as well. And then I'm going to put on there is just pepperoni. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Roll this up. And this is why I said don't overpack it or you're going to have stuff flowing out. If you have to, spread it out. But what you want to try to do is keep this from <laughs> falling out on this side because you need to pull it together. So you're going to roll that up. And then you just want to make sure that you seal all of this so it's not seeping out of the bottom. And what I like to do is just pinch it the best that I can. Obviously, you're not going to be able to seal a lot of it, but if you at least pinch it, then the ends, you're going to fold, kind of pinch, pinch them closed. I like to fold mine under, so that's on the bottom side. Take a very small amount of oil and rub it on the top of this and along the sides. I'm just gonna sprinkle the top with Italian seasoning. I'm going to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Once your oven is preheated, you're just gonna bake your stromboli for 25 to 40 minutes. What you're looking for is for the crust to be golden brown and the inside to be warm. Here's what the stromboli looks like when it's done. Nice and crispy. And some of the stuff does leak out, like I said. You want to try to pinch and make sure it doesn't leak out a ton. Um, but, you know, regardless, it's going to happen a little bit. But you're going to let this sit for about five minutes or longer, if you wish, to let it cool down so it's easier to cut through and the cheese isn't coming off on your knife 